This is some visionary shit. Been trying to film pleasure with my eyes wide shut, but it keeps on moving. I blame it on a model bra with the Hollywood smile. Strip a booty with a rack like wow. I'll never forget ya. You put me on a field and I never had, never had, never had. And ever since I've been trying to get it back, you pick it up, put it back. Good morning vlog, it's Valentine's Day! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a very awkward angle. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daily Carrington. If you are new to my channel, welcome! And if you're a returning subscriber, love for the love, my Gs! So what is it today? Today is Valentine's Day. Valentine's is coming! Where is your boyfriend? Valentine's Day is here, it's live and direct, and I am currently at a car wash because my car looks like the inside of a tramp's house. If that even makes sense. <laughs> car is so bad, like, so much trash everywhere, so much rubbish, so much, tel I found three telcoms in my car. What does one gal need for three telcoms? I don't know, I, I honestly don't know. So, I am quickly at a car wash this morning so that I can clean my car and that when I go and see my boyfriend later on, my car's not dirty. So I'm literally putting all my things in my boot so I can get it washed. Initially, I was only gonna get an outside wash, but then I was kind of thinking, what's the point of just getting just an outside wash when I could get it all done, you know? So that was my logic. And I want to go to Lola's Cupcakes and pick up my boyfriend some cupcakes. Oh, they tell me to drive forward. But I also want to go back home and get my Rick Owens because I've only got my A6 on me, but I feel like my Rick Owens would give way more than my A6, you know? So that's the plan. So car wash, potentially go back home to go get my uh, Rick Owens and then to Joseph. Or I might meet Joseph, he might come pick me up, I don't know, but I don't know the plan. But how is everyone on Valentine's Day? Comment below what you did for your Valentine's. My Valentine's are usually pretty much low key because me and Joseph's birthday are both in February and it just gets so hectic with the both of us and gifts and events. So we usually keep it on the low side, but I'm just very excited this year, you know? very much excited i don't know what for but excited and happy is the move and this is my first official car wash in this car if you watch my drive with me you would see that i did go and get like an outside car wash but i didn't get a full body car wash with an actual person scrubber dubber dubbing it was literally just the machine and also in this vlog i say from an awkward angle you guys would have seen um the next few clips you guys would have seen well i filmed it before this but i didn't introduce a vlog so what i did i did uh bianca had a dinner on monday today's wednesday and i vlogged that and i think i vlogged something else i'm gonna include it at the end of the vlog because i didn't introduce it in the video when i first recorded it and you guys will be like what the heck is this and if you're new you're thinking this girl's so scatty why does she not tell us what's going on so i'm gonna insert it later on the vlog and you'll see my sister's anniversary dinner for her brand. Look what I just found. Another telco. Bro, why do you have so many telcos? Why? Anyways, I'm just excited to get this car clean because it's so crumbly in here. I don't deserve to be living like this at all. And yeah, I think I am going to go home. I know it's going to be extra work for me to go back home. But I'm going to go home. 20 minutes home, then to Lola's, then to Joseph. I don't know. Is, that, is it worth going home? Let me text him and see what he says. I love car washes. Let me get out of the car so they can do the inside because in here is a hot mess and it's it's a job above my pay grade, do you know what I mean? So <laughs> let me just be exiting stage door right. Hey vlog, I'm back and look what my boyfriend got me. <laughs> I got 100 red roses. Look how pretty they are. Valentine's is coming. Where is your Joseph? 
No, no, no. Well, my Joseph's here. You guys can get a different Joseph because I already got a Joseph. But where's your Joseph? But Valentine's is coming. Where is your Joseph? Valentine's is coming. Where is your Joseph? He got me these. They just came literally. I was on my way to go meet him. And then he was like, go back. You have to go there. Um... I, I I ordered something there and I was like, okay, whatever. But he tricked me. But he think he tricked me about what he thought he said he ordered, but I knew in my heart he was pranking me. But nonetheless, I collected my roses and look they match my car. They match my red seats. So cute. I'm gonna put them in my house and then I'm gonna head to go meet him and spend our Valentine's together. Valentine's is coming. I am on a whole nother level. Belly only fought you over cause you let him. Fucking girl, I guess you didn't know any better. Girl, that man did I am on my way to Lola's Cupcakes. I did mention it before how I wanted to go there and get Joseph some cupcakes and I didn't manage to go at the time but I thought okay while I'm on my journey might as well stop off and get him some just because it's Valentine's Day and obviously he just got me flowers he got me a hundred red roses and I appreciate it. I love like I'm not that kind of babe that just gets roses for the aesthetic. I put them, I, I treat them, I cut them, I put them in the bars, I decorate my room with them. I genuinely love roses. So I'm gonna get something he genuinely loves and that's food and he actually loves cake. But the thing is, the, the closest Lola's to me is in Ca uh, Canary Wharf and that's so inconvenient because you can't really park there, but you know, such is life, you know. <laughs> vlog so i'm in canary wharf and i just parked you got 20 minutes free before they charge you so uh hello i set a time off but i think i parked exactly by lola's and if i did it, what are you looking at if i time it correctly i'm gonna get to lola's within the next three seconds and get my boyfriend his valentine's cupcakes guys i made it to lola's they have like actual cakes i'm gonna get cupcakes though because cupcakes are very 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 cute Okay, guys, I'm out. I took about five minutes. My machine wasn't working, and I was like, you don't need to fix your machine. It's not trying to embarrass me. I have the funds. But anyways, I've gotten my boyfriend cupcakes. I got him 12 mini ones and then one big one um, because I wanted him to try with loads of flavors. So I'm very, very excited. I'm heading now to go meet him. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm kind of excited, guys. Feeling happy. Simply having a wonderful Valentine's time. Simply having a wonderful Valentine's time. I love that song. Anywho, let's go meet my boy. Yeah. No friends in the industry. My brothers, my brothers, man, you niggas, ain't no I'm so excited. Guys, so for the first time ever in Canary Wolf, I got asked to do a quick security dog check. I was like, sure, no problem. And he's like, can you open your boot? So I opened my boot and guys, I can open my boot from like down there. My boot flung open and hit my window. The wind is nuts. What's the wind trying to do? Mash up my sing thing. Like that's so rude of the wind. And then I drove in a big circle and I'm just trying to get to my boyfriend give him his cupcakes and everything's going so wrong. Because all the roads are shut in Canary Wolf. So inconvenient. At least, at least, at least, at least. I'm not parked in that same spot and I won't get a ticket for being there more than 20 minutes because I was there for like at least seven max. And my nails are all on earlier and one broke so I had to pop them all off. And now I'm driving with like bad nails and it's Valentine's Day and I've got no nails on my hands. I really hate this for me, but anyways. Such is life in the big city of Canary Wharf. Such is life. Open them and the bot. They were, they were next to me in the passenger seat and they've all dropped. No. But that one's fine. But what the heck? No. What the heck? Cheers. Okay, vlog. I've been at Joseph's for an entire hour. I'm finally leaving. Here he is in the black. Ready to go. We're gonna get some Chinese at this new spot that like we discovered about a week about no. We discovered it the day I the day before I left for Jamaica. Yeah. 
trying to feel pleasure with my eyes wide shut, but it keeps on moving. I blame it on a model bra with the Hollywood smile. Hey vlog, so we are back to square one, back to where we started. We are back in Josie's room. We drove to Central, we drove to our restaurant, we drove to everywhere and everything was packed. We went to one giant restaurant in Central and it looks, so, it looks scary, I'm not gonna lie. And we didn't eat there. And then now we're back at Joseph's, just eating. Chicken. But this is actually the place we want to eat at, but it was, one when we first went there it was shot. Then two it was fully booked, so you know. But now we'll be eating it right here. In the comfort of Joseph's bedroom. Sweet so actually I like the little packaging. How do they do that? Vermicelli spicy special fried rice. And that's everything. That is us. Welcome to the guys. Him. Good morning vlog. How are we all doing today? I need to put my contacts in. I was meant to put that in this morning, but I completely forgot. So we will ignore my glasses until I pause driving and put my contacts in. So it is the 15th, it's 11 19 a.m. and I'm on my way to five guys. Why? Because I'm deeply craving a bunless burger. Like, bunless burgers with a lettuce wrap? Ah, oh, they go crazy. I'm gonna get two of those and have the best of time eating them like a pig. Because they're so good. So, I need to update you guys on what happened yesterday. So yesterday, I went and packed and shipped my orders. Then I went home and my boyfriend got me 100 red roses because I'm just like Gora. We went to go meet my boyfriend at his house and then we went to go to this restaurant that we found like maybe we found this restaurant before i went to jamaica this chinese restaurant and it's so good it's literally the local hakasan novikov gaucha kind of restaurant we went to go there at five and they weren't open till six so then we end up driving to the city and then we went to this random restaurant i found on like google and it just looks so dodgyly badly awfully badly everything lee like everything was not giving we end up driving back to central back from central back to the chinese restaurant and joseph said just to call them just make sure they've got availability and i was like it's a local place of course they've got availability well jokes on us because they had no availability however they could do takeaway we got takeaway which was 94 pounds but it is kind of a nice restaurant nice local restaurant 94 pounds filmed like a little bit but boy oh boy was that some chinese the chinese was crazy it was so good i mean i've been there before but this time we got more obviously because valentine's day eat more and it was honestly the best thing ever 10 out of 10. Anyways, so we went to this like local bar, restaurant place, and it was having shots and cocktails, and then we were playing Uno, and I won twice to begin with, and then after I just had a losing streak, and I was thinking, Carrington, you're a woman instead. <laughs> I'm trying rubbish. But no, it was a really good time, and then we went back home, no, we went to Tesco's, and in Tesco's, just, they were being like really cagey with us, and so, um, I reminded Joseph that he had to get the magazine that I was in. His vlog of that um, shoot was coming out soon. I don't know when, but I'm editing everything today. So I said, Joseph, remember, you need to get the magazine that I'm in. And he, and he bought it. And the woman would be mad cagey, as I was saying. And so I was like, do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who I am? I had to open up Elle magazine right quick and show her that's me and my family. And I was like, you can even check. And I had my pass, I had my license on me. And I was like, look, that's me, my name on my license, Carrington Saunders. And that's what it says in the magazine, Karen Saunders. Like, do you know who I am? I thought you're being all um, shady me at the self checkout. Like I said, I'm trying to steal your shop. If I was trying to steal in Tesco's, I was still, but I wasn't trying to. I was literally being a good citizen and it'd be mad weird. So, 
they after they saw me in the magazine, they started moving like I was Kim Kardashian, and I was like, yeah. And Joseph, he's so funny. He was like, oh, do you know who she is? Like, do you know she was in Dubai last week? She had a big shoot. She's a supermodel. She's an international. I was like, watch my man, watch my man. But yeah, that was it. So <laughs> that's the current update. I have arrived to Five Guys and it's a very pretty Five Guys. It's so crazy because I literally hated Five Guys up until I wanna say November. The first time I had Five Guys, I was in New York and it was horrid and I thought, how the heck am I having an American food chain in America and it's whack. And then I would only even, when I would come to Five Guys, I would only get milkshakes. But now, that lace bun wrap thing, ah, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. And my footwear is nuts as well. This is crazy. This is the real Daily Carrington, which you guys don't know. Ah! I'm a mad woman. I'm a mad gal. It's literally 11.40 a.m. Are they even open? Google says it opens at 11. It's probably a bit early, but can I get, um, a lettuce bun bag, please, with cheese, grilled onion, lettuce, tomatoes, sure. and ketchup. And ketchup, yeah. Can I get two of them, please? Two, yeah. Do you have any bread? Uh, no, no. Any drinks or milkshake? No drinks. Actually, do you have bottled water? Yeah, we have. Them. I'll get one of those, please. That's it, yeah? Uh, yes, please. So two cheeseburgers and a lettuce wrap of grilled onion, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and a bottle of water, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Green peppers as well on both of them. Inside both of them, yeah? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, jalapenos. So. Jalapenos. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. Anything else? No, thank you. Jed's with a cash card. Card, please. 24 85, please. I might eat it. I'm having a great time. I've been at work for the last five days straight, slaving away. Let me come and get a burger at 11 a.m. Cause why the heck not? Do you know where I am? Can't go to Tesco's. You guys? This burger is crazy. This burger is crazy. This burger is crazy. This is so good. Oh my days. I'm, I'm never getting a bomb burger ever again. Ever again. Mmm. Oh, nuts. You guys don't know how nuts this is. This bug is wow. This bug is busting. This is the best thing I've eaten in so long. Actually, tell like the Chinese have this is busting as well, but this is busting. Okay, I'm gonna have my second burger. Wow. Just wow. You guys don't even know how good this is. Oh my days. <laughs> mm -mm. Vlog. That was the best food I've had since yesterday. <laughs> ah, that really tickled me. That was the best food I've had since yesterday. What? I love when I have consistent good food. Mmm, man. That was too good. Yesterday, we went to the, that bar thing I was telling you guys about earlier. And we had, um, Joseph and I, we shared a sticky toffee pudding. It was so good, we had to get two. So good. And then that Chinese that we had, so good. And these burgers, nuts. Stunning shades, one away, pink lemonade. Darling, I just can't conversate over pink lemonade. Hey vlog, how are we doing today? I have not vlogged since, I wanna say Valentine's Day. It is Monday the 19th of February. I am on my way to my dentist appointment. My eyebrow hair looks so weird, but I don't even have a spoolie, so I'm gonna use a comb. I don't know what I my last clip was in my vlog. In Battersea today, Bianca has a movie premiere or a documentary premiere in Battersea Cinema. So I'm going there with her. Then, what else do I have going this week? Tomorrow I'm going to go get my nails done. So my boyfriend's birthday is also going to be in this vlog. His birthday is on 
Wednesday. Happy birthday to my boyfriend. And so this vlog is actually gonna be Valentine's Day, Joseph's birthday, hair vlog, nail vlog, all in one. I'm so, I'm so jam-packed, it's nuts. But the reason why I'm doing it all in one is because I've not vlogged substantial amounts to make it into individual vlogs. Hey vlog! I'm on my way to Battersea Power Station, which you can actually see from over here. Right there, you can actually see it. Uh, my sister, Bianca Saunders, has an event there. This is the second Bianca event we're going to in one vlog. Shout out Bianca, because what was you doing at 21? <laughs> I'm not 21 anymore, I can't say that! What were you doing at 22? Damn! Bloody hell. Anyway, shout out Bianca, because what was you doing at Bianca's age? Anyways, so there's a red carpet beforehand, but I don't want to go on the red carpet. I'm literally wearing a jumpsuit and a Bianca jacket, Jacquemus bag, and Rick Owens. I'm, I'm not like dressed highly amazing. And also primarily because it says that it was a, it's a screen for a cinema. I'm not gonna be wearing a mini skirt at a cinema. Just be so real. What do you think this is? So yeah, I'm just on my way there now. Seven minutes away. I need to do my lip gloss, my little lip combo before I get in there so that I don't look so basic on the face. I did put a bit of mocha mami on my face before I left the house, but I think I need a little bit of more satin satin. But I thought I'll just introduce me back to the vlog. I didn't want to just start the next segment without you guys being confused. As I don't like to do that anymore. I like to literally update my vlog. If not the day before I vlog and say what's going to happen next. The day of. So you guys know. Because I feel like when you're watching vlogs and then suddenly they're in Japan. And I was like wait I thought you was in South East London. In, in Morley's. How you how do you get to Japan? And you, and you never once said oh. By the way. Today I'm. Do you know what I mean? So. I think it's very important to keep the vlog coherent and cohesive. I will catch you guys back when I get to the Battersea Power Station, like maybe when I'm walking in. I hope there's food there. I kind of want a hot dog. Yesterday we went Costco and those Costco beef hot dogs, 10 tens. But yeah, that's all I had to say. I'll catch you guys in a minute. My booty with the rag like, wow. I'll never forget you. You put me on a feeling I never had, never had, never had. Never had. I've been trying to get it back You pick it up, put it back Now I'm something like the chemist on campus But there's no drug around But like what I found You, you I still can't feel my face What am I smoking anyway? She said don't I said they made a cocktail name of the Bianca Saunders <laughs> Fashion, who recently collaborated with Usher for his iconic 2023 Met Gala outfit. I catch up with her in her studio to find out more of how her heritage has played a part in her success. Your parents are Jamaican. Yeah. And would you say that influences or informs any of your designs? Yes, yeah, definitely. Because I was like, I definitely look back a lot of like old like family photographs and like them visiting Jamaica and like how that they like grown up and their style and what what kind of music my mum was into, what kind of music my dad was into, and like how like the musical influence has like kind of merged me into who I am. I love the culture of like of like oh that's so that's so like Caribbean and it's, and it might not be overtly obvious, but. I think certain people will see it and they'll, they'll understand. Did her own signature look. Confident and stylish tailoring, creating an evolution in modern menswear. What was it about menswear that appealed to you? I had this really good tutor called Andrew Evie. I showed him all my research for my, my final main project and it was like based around like breaking down like tailoring and like um, how a suit was constructed together and like all the rules of menswear of like it was very much strict and very constrained. And all of the things that we thrive in and it's very important. Please, everyone. Now, what would be your top three tips that you would give to your younger self? for breaking into the fashion industry? Um, I guess in the beginning, I always said I wanted to have a luxury fashion brand, so probably just say is what you mean and just go for it. Um, so I think that took me that like, um, Yeah, there's, there's quite a few different people that have been quite like interesting. Um, I was say my sister actually, she's quite interesting. So she recently started a fashion brand. Um, Congratulations. Part of um, London fashion week, so. Hey vlog, how are we doing? As you can clearly see, oh my camera's done, my hair's done. 
I'll come back to you guys once my camera's not dying because why the heck is my camera dying? But my hair's done and I'll update you guys in like three seconds, but it might be like an hour for me, who knows? But I'll see you guys in a minute. Let the high go to waste. Can you taste? Little taste. No. Hi vlog, it's my boyfriend's birthday. <laughs> this is just his way of saying he's happy. Okay then. Okay then. Anyways guys, it's Jeff's birthday and we are going to get massages later. I just was doing my cast collection business and now we're gonna get massages. Are you looking forward to your massage? Um, yes, I am looking forward to my massage. Okay. Right you're in the wrong lane. I tell no, you this. You are, you turn off here. I'm not in the wrong lane. Okay, fair enough. This is the right lane. Oh, don't tell me about driving, bro. You can't drive like this. Okay, then. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the clip of Joseph and I on the way to our massage. Dread gang, man. <laughs> okay, Joseph. This is our first meal of the day. I'm starving. <laughs> On my birthday last year, we were in Cyprus and we actually had this and then Joseph decided to be extra and he got passed on. And I got this in Cyprus. Too nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
and I remember like, coming to your office and be like, oh, I actually really need like, some help, I've got these ideas, and for you to be with me and to be able to support me on that has been incredible, so thank you.